My name's Anne Harding. I'm a director of Settle Hydro Limited. My name's Steve Amphlett and in a voluntary capacity I'm a director of Settle Hydro. We came up with this idea of using our river to produce electricity. It just so happened at the same time as we were having this inspirational idea about using the river to create energy and to bring more people to our town. Some people called H2O happened to be doing feasibility studies or looking for suitable sites. They then worked with us during the project um, as uh, project managers and we gradually took over from them. The majority of work has been done by Anne and myself and that's a decision that community groups have to make. Um, do you keep it small, in which case communication lines and decision making is very much faster, or do you spread the load a little bit and then take the hit on the fact that it will be a little bit more difficult to, to manage. The hydro system we've installed here is based on a, an Archimedes screw. So water is taken from the top of the weir that runs through the screw, causing the screw to rotate and through a set of gearing that drives a, a generator which generates the electricity. That electricity is then fed into the national grid and we supply um, some flats in the mill. We went to them and said, this is what we're thinking of doing, how do you think we should do it? We then took on board all those comments and from that we adapted the way we were going to build the hydro. I have to say, I mean 99% of the local community have been um, very supportive and very interested in, in what has been happening. Um, there were some concerns by people who live uh, close to the site. They were concerned about uh, potential noise issues and this kind of thing and we were able to give a degree of reassurance on that and in fact some of them went to visit uh, another similar site so that they could hear for themselves how much noise um, the thing makes. The principal opposition came from, from the angling community. The anglers are very keen to develop the fishery and to make sure that uh, the salmon can reach the head of the river as, as readily as possible. And that's obviously a, a major, major concern of the Environment Agency, who are the, the body who are legally responsible for ensuring that happens. One of the issues that came out early on was uh, the Environment Agency wanted us to move the, the outflow from the screw to be closer to the outflow from the fish pass so that the fish weren't confused. The fish are attracted to the fish pass by the turbulence at the bottom of the, the fish pass. And if there was something else causing turbulence a little way down the river, then they may, they may uh, move towards that part of the river rather than finding the fish pass. So we had to make some adjustments to that. Just talking about the actual system itself, it was 415,000. The major cost of that is the civils. That was about 215,000. The screw itself cost 75,000 pounds, and the rest was all the things like connecting to the national grid and ensuring all our controlling systems and all the other things. Settle Hydro is set up as an industrial and provident society. Um, we raise money for the scheme through a combination of grants, um, a share issue, and the bank loan, and, it, and it's, it, it's roughly a third for each of those. We've got a lease on this bit of land uh, for the next 99 years. Um, so the relationship is very good. We were very lucky that the landlord was very keen to support renewable energy. There was a lot of time spent initially seeking out all the permissions, the planning permissions, um, we had to get an abstraction licence to enable us to take the water from the top of the weir, even though we're putting the water back in the river. And then there were all, all the issues to do with the, the fish. And so um, the design proposals were carefully appraised by the Environment Agency. Questions asked, reports obtained, just to give all the reassurance that we wouldn't be damaging uh, the fishery. It's been a little bit unusual for the residents of the mill, all of whom are tenants of our landlords. They've had to put up with seven and a half months of civil build and it was a bit muddy and it was a big building site. It, it was difficult for them. I think now it's gone in and now it's working. 
they appreciate what we've done. One of the daily tasks that has to be done when we're running is to ensure that the intake screen is kept clear of debris. Inevitably you get branches and plastic bags washed down the river and if you're not careful they can block the intake which reduces the amount of water you can take through the screw. One of the beauties of this type of system and why the Environment Agency are quite happy for them to be installed on, uh, on, on salmon rivers is that they're very fish friendly and there's been a lot of work done with fish actually being fed through the screws and then been monitored for damage afterwards. There's very little noise and bear in mind that the river itself makes a tremendous amount of noise. Uh, I'm John Reid, a local resident. I live across the road. Uh, we're brought up in Settle and brought up across the road. It was a lot noisier when the waterway was running because that used to rattle about. But we can hear more noise from the water coming over the weir. We can hardly hear the, the actual screw working. All our forecasts have been done on generating about 150,000 kilowatt hours a year. Um, but that, that is an average. Um, and bear in mind the scheme is going to run for 40 years. The Power Purchase Agreement is the way that a renewable energy company will sell their electricity to the end user. We sell ours to the Cooperative Energy Group. They buy green electricity from us because it means that they can say that they're supporting green electricity. If we were to sell our electricity on an open market today, we'd probably get 2.3, 2.7 pence a kilowatt. As it is, we've got 5 pence a kilowatt guaranteed for the next five years. We essentially have two customers, so we're selling the electricity to the grid via the co-op. They pay us 5 pence per kilowatt. That's for 90% of the electricity we produce. The other 10% goes directly to the mill. The landlord of the mill pays us a full commercial rate for that electricity. He pays us 14 pence a kilowatt. On top of that, we will get 17 and a half pence feed-in tariff for every kilowatt we produce. With that income, we have to pay off our bank loan. There are some other overheads such as um, uh, insurance, um, but very little else. Neither Anne nor I as directors take any uh, salary from the business, it's all done purely voluntary. Settle Hydro Limited is set up as a company to own Settle Weir and the Archimedean screw system so that the profits are returned at the end of the year to the shareholders and the community. Within our articles and memorandums, the community element has to be spent on other environmental projects. We hope to get somewhere between 28 and 45,000 pounds per annum. Eventually, we hope to give between three and 5% return on investment to our shareholders. Some of the amazing unexpected outcomes are the number of people who've been to see us from all over the world. We've had visitors from Niger, Chad, Nicaragua, Papua New Guinea, all of whom want to go back to their own communities and do something similar to what we've done here. We've had over 200 other communities from throughout the UK visiting us. And it's just been incredible. It's been an incredible journey. What we thought we were doing was building an energy company that was going to produce green electricity and produce an income for our community. What we've actually done is all that, plus we realise we've got a really powerful educational tool and it's up to us to make sure that that tool is utilised the best way it possibly can so that the next generation of youngsters that come along, this becomes the norm, it's not unusual, it becomes what every community has, everybody does it. Why not?